welcome to another session of Hooked on Jesus Online. I'm absolutely delighted that you could join today. I hope you've had a lovely week. Well, we just can't help it. There's a lockdown and we have to be in our homes. We can't run and play in the parks. We can't run and play in our buildings. We can't ride our cycles. But you know what? There's also a lot of fun to be had at home. You can read your favorite storybook. You can paint, you can draw, you can do something creative. You can write poetry, you can help mummy. You can also develop your cooking skills. There's just so much we can do at home. So let's get on with another exciting lesson. Today we're going to learn a very, very important lesson. The lesson is the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But before we do that, Let's just offer this lesson to God and let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us all together. We thank you for this wonderful technology you have blessed us with. Lord, we thank you and praise you that you have ordained for all of us to listen to this lesson today. Holy Spirit, come and anoint us. Come and anoint us, Holy Spirit, and let us receive you today as we learn this lesson. We ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, come on, let's go and learn the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And before we start our classes, my name is Catherine. So today we are going to learn a very, very, very important topic. This is the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, this, these gifts are mentioned in the Bible. They are all listed over there under 1 Corinthians 12. Now, I'm not going to read this to you right now, but you can go and you can read it for yourselves in your Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. It's all mentioned there. Now, before we go into these wonderful gifts of the Holy Spirit, and I'm sure you're wondering what they are, let's really learn what and who the Holy Spirit really is. To begin with, the, who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is a person. We worship a tribal God. That is one God in three. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And the Bible refers to the Holy Spirit as a He. That makes the Holy Spirit a person. So let's learn about the Holy Spirit and let's learn about the gifts of the Holy Spirit because Jesus gave us the Holy Spirit to be our comforter and our guide and our support and our helper. So let's learn what these wonderful gifts of the Holy Spirit are. So there are nine gifts and the first one is the gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, the gift of faith, the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, the gift of prophecy, the gift of discerning spirits, the gift of different tongues, and the gift of interpreting these tongues. Oh my goodness, you must be wondering what big words these are. But children, don't worry, we are going to talk about each of these nine gifts and what they mean and what they are for our lives. Whew, so many big words we learned. But now, let's break them up into bit by bit and learn what each gift is all about. So the first gift is the gift of wisdom. Now what is wisdom? Wisdom is the ability to make decisions and give guidance that matches God's will. So this is a kind of a divine wisdom which comes. A wisdom which you just know that what particular action you're going to take or advise others to take a particular action that matches, that matches God's will. Let's go on to the next gift, the gift of knowledge. Now, knowledge is the ability to have an in-depth understandable understanding of spiritual issues. Now, this is a gift of knowledge which comes only from God. 
and we must be able to recognize God's voice is when God tells us something or, or gives us an understanding of a situation which is either in the present now or has happened in the past and God tells you to go to that person and help that person out because of the, of the knowledge which God has given you. The gift of faith, what is that? Faith is the ability to trust in God in all circumstances. For example, right now, we feel that this crazy pandemic, this crazy coronavirus is never going to leave us. And we can never go down and play and this lockdown just goes on and on and on. But if we are children of God and we have faith in Jesus, the divine faith, that no matter whatever comes across to us or whatever comes to us we have faith in God and this is a gift of the Holy Spirit the gift of healing now healing is when you heal somebody who is sick who is injured who is suffering and the person is just healed through the power of the Holy Spirit and through Jesus that is the gift of healing when you are able to heal somebody through the law or through our God Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit the next gift the gift of miracles now we all know what a miracle is a miracle is something which happens to us out of the extraordinary something which is not really part of our everyday lives that is something supernatural that is only something from God and that is a miracle so the miracle the gift of a miracle is the ability to perform signs and wonders so that everybody will know God's glory and remember these signs and wonders are only and only performed in the name of Jesus the gift of prophecy Prophecy is when you get a message from God and you have to share it with everyone around you. You share it with the church. That's the gift of prophecy. The gift of discernment. Discernment means it's the ability to know if it's really God speaking to you or not. It's the ability to know God's voice. And as we are children of God and we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, it's very, really very easy to listen to Jesus' voice. All we have to do is pray for him and ask our Father in heaven to speak to us and he does speak to us. And then we can learn his voice. But sometimes, just sometimes, it could be maybe our imagination talking to us. So. The gift of discernment is knowing, is knowing that it's God's voice and God's voice alone. The next gift, the gift of tongues. Now you must have heard your mommy and daddy speak and pray in a different language, pray rather than a different language during your prayer time at home. And that is called the gift of tongues. The gift of tongues is a special gift by the Holy Spirit when you pray to God in a language, in a foreign language, in a language you are not aware of. And the ninth and the final gift is the gift of interpretation of these tongues. Now when we speak in tongues and we speak in a foreign language, that is a language we don't know. There is a gift where we can interpret these tongues. Means we can interpret the prayers we pray to in a foreign language. So these are the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the most wonderful gifts anyone could ever ask for. Nine of them. Okay, very quickly, let's go through all nine once again. One, the gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, the gift of faith, the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, the gift of prophecy, the gift of discernment, the gift of tongues, and the gift of interpretation of tongues. Quite a heavy bit of information we've all received just now. Well, let's take a deep breath. And 
and stretch yourselves nicely. And we are going to watch a wonderful video, a song really, to lighten us and tell us about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let's watch this video. And like always, we are not the owners and makers of the video. We are just using the video to enhance this lesson. The original owners and makers of the video will be mentioned in the link below. Come, let's watch this video. Spirit Blessings we need in this hour Even more precious than gemstones Fragrance like beautiful flowers Wisdom and knowledge and faith from God Gifts of healing And works of wonders Prophecy and discernment too That we've learned the gifts of the Holy Spirit, how do we know what gifts we have within us? Now, there are some people who have all nine gifts of the Holy Spirit and some people who perhaps have one or two gifts. But that's okay because these gifts are all for the glory of God and for the upliftment of His church. And if you want more gifts, for example, when you hear your mommy and daddy praying in tongues and speaking a foreign language and you, no matter how small you are, and you feel you want that gift, you most certainly can ask the Holy Spirit for it. You can pray to the Holy Spirit and He will grant you this gift. If you want the gift of wisdom, all you have to do is ask the Holy Spirit and He gives it to you. And all of us, because we've given our lives to Jesus, have these gifts. We might have one gift, we might have two gifts, we might have all nine gifts, but that's fine because we all belong to the body of Christ. We all belong to the church. And the church is a body of people with unique gifts and unique talents and unique personalities. And all of us make up the church to glorify and give all the praise and glory to Jesus. So it doesn't, so you don't really have to, to, to worry if you don't have online gifts. But you can pray to the Holy Spirit. And these gifts are yours. They're there. They're yours. All you have to do is just pray and ask for them. You can ask for the gift of healing if you feel you have it in you. And how do you identify that you have these gifts? Well, Close your eyes up, uh, before your prayer time and just think of whatever talents you have. Think of what you like doing. Do you like going out and talking about Jesus? Do you like to make someone's life better? Do you like to read the Bible and learn God's word so that you can speak about it to different children your age? Whatever you like or do you like just to spend quiet time with God when you're in bed alone by yourself just praying to God and telling him and having a conversation with him. It all depends on what you like and you are blessed with these gifts accordingly. You just have to ask for it. Now remember children, we are children of grace. We are people of grace. We don't have to do anything. 
or we don't have to perform any kind of action to get these gifts. We can pray and ask God for them. And it's the Holy Spirit, it's the grace of the Holy Spirit that bestows these gifts upon us. And one gift is not below the next gift. All gifts are equal because we all are a part of the body of Christ. And we all, and Jesus has ordained us to be a part of the church. So we are all part of the church and each and every one has a, has a contribution to the church. So I hope you like this, I hope you like this lesson and I hope you really pray and ask God for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because my loving children, you all love Jesus so much and you all know Jesus so much and you want Jesus to be a part of your lives. I know you do. So just remember these nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Pray to the Holy Spirit. He is a loving and wonderful person. He is your comforter and your guide. When you feel alone, when you feel you have no one, when you feel so frustrated that you can't go down and ride your cycle, pray to the Holy Spirit to comfort you. And He will be there to comfort you. Pray to the Holy Spirit for, for, for any of His gifts or for all His gifts. It doesn't matter what age you are. The Holy Spirit will give you an understanding at your age level to understand what these gifts are. All you have to do is just pray to the Holy Spirit and welcome Him in your life. Now, now that we've learned the gifts of the Holy Spirit, let's get into some art and craft. Come on guys, see you at the craft store. Bye for now. Hi kids. So, I hope you're all set for some art and craft. Today we're going to do something very, very simple. The main purpose of this craft work is, is that we, are, we should remember the gifts of the Holy Spirit at all times and carry these gifts with us. So for today, what we need is, we just need a square piece of paper. Can you see? And we need one marker. You can have, you can use different colors markers or you can just use one marker. I like my black marker to keep it simple. But you can use, you can make it as colorful and joyful as you'd like. So I have my exact square piece of paper. Remember it's exact square. And what you need to do is take one tip of the paper and bring it to the, to the other tip. Okay, make sure that both the tips, can you see? Make sure that both the tips are meeting each other and fold the paper down in the middle. Okay. Open it up. Similarly, do the same thing. Bring the other tip down and fold the paper in the center. Now make sure all the lines are touching and, and are touching each other and both the tips are touching each other. Okay. Then open the paper and keep it in front of you. Now one corner, one corner, take one corner and bring it down to the center just like this and flatten it out. Okay. Similarly, take this corner and bring it down to the center and flatten it out. If you have a little space here and there, it's fine. Just flatten it out. So bring this corner as well and the center and flatten it out here so see all the points are meeting at the center which is very very important similarly for this one all the points have met at the center okay now what we're going to do is can you see it like this we are going to flip this over all right and we're going to keep it as a diamond it has to face us like a diamond it has to have a diamond formation facing us Okay, now this tip over here, I will take it and I will fold it this way and bring it to the center point. See? Okay. Similarly, I will do the same for this. And all four sides. Here we go. And here we go again, all right? So see, this is what 
it should look like right now all right now what we do is we take the whole of this and we fold it in half over here okay just take a little bit of pressure on your finger and press these down okay press it down here ouch be a little careful press it down okay turn it across and press it down nicely then we take this and we fold it like this right can you see now we open this up right and what we can do is let's fold it both ways it becomes nice and fragile and nice and agile and we can put our fingers in okay so here we go here we go see remember this is kind of a game we used to play but what we're going to do is we are going to remember this game and we are going to write the gifts of the holy spirit in this so each time we open we, we open this we remember the gifts of the holy spirit okay so it should look like this all right children after you finished it should look like this now flatten this out again okay and you can take your marker and you write over here gifts of the holy spirit okay so this is going to be a little guide to remember the gifts of the holy spirit and if you feel you need to pray for any of the gifts you can always pray for them all right so kind of open this out and you can see here you have one two three four five six seven eight eight little slots to write the gifts of the holy spirit but how many do we have we have nine gifts of the holy spirit okay so the ninth gift will be mentioned over here right over here so let's start uh, writing the gifts of the holy spirit so we can start from any block you'd like to so i would like to start from this block so the first gift is wisdom that's correct wisdom okay then the second gift is knowledge Then the third gift is faith. Then the fourth gift is healing. The fifth gift is miracles. And like this, we are going to write all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So you see children, I have mentioned all the gifts of the Holy Spirit, eight of them. But remember, there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. So the most treasured gift is mentioned inside here. Interpretation of tongues. So, so many of us speak in tongues, we speak in a foreign language and we don't know what it means. But it would be nice to know what it means, wouldn't it? So we can pray to the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit to give us this gift of interpretation. So here you go. Put my fingers in here. Put my fingers in here. And remember this little game we used to play? But now we're going to play this game for the Holy Spirit to remember the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Put my thumb and finger in here, my thumb and finger in here. Settle this. Oh, wow! Look at this! All the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Isn't this amazing? Now let me see what I have here. Oh, here I have knowledge, faith, prophecy and discernment. Isn't that wonderful? Let's try another round and see what other gifts I get. 
Oh, wow. Here I have wisdom, healing, miracles and tongues. Isn't that fantastic? And not to forget, we have the most treasured gift inside here. The interpretation of tongues. So I hope you enjoyed making this little piece of origami. It's very, very simple, really. And we used to make it to play a game, remember? But now we can keep this as a remembrance of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So we can never forget the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So keep this wherever you go, kids. Maybe in your little wallets or purses or under your pillows or in your blankets. And pray to the Holy Spirit and ask the Holy Spirit for what gifts you would like Him to bless you with. I hope you enjoyed this little piece of artwork and I'm so so looking forward to see all your art and craft. I hope you have you can make this at home as well and do send in your pictures because we get so encouraged when we see all your pictures of all the artwork which you do. Well, this is now for art and craft. Let's go on to the end of the lesson. Well kids, I hope you enjoyed the artwork as much as I enjoyed the artwork with you. So please send in your pictures of all this wonderful artwork which you've done. And remember to pray to the Holy Spirit and ask Him for whatever gift you'd like. The Holy Spirit is a person just waiting there to comfort you, to guide you and to be your helper. Now, before we end this lesson, let's close in prayer. We thank you and we praise you, Holy Spirit, for this wonderful lesson. We thank you and praise you that you have anointed us today. We thank you and we praise you that you put this lessons in our heart to learn about the gifts that you can bestow upon us. Holy Spirit, bestow your gifts on us. Bestow the gifts, whatever, whatever you feel we need to have to glorify your church. Bless us all, Holy Spirit. Protect us and keep us safe in your loving care. We ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's all for me right now, children. I hope, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you liked our video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.